Hey, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to do something advanced in Microsoft Word. I know I have an Excel spreadsheet pulled up. I'm going to do a mail merge with an if statement. So here's the example I came up with. We have people that signed up for classes in column G. And then next to it is the location where that class is held. Atlanta is our main campus and parking is $4. The other two locations, and there could be 20 other locations, the parking is free. So if the Atlanta location pops up in the letter, I want one paragraph. If another location pops up, I want a different paragraph. So this file is called training. Let me run through the mail merge real quick. So here we go. Words running. Go to mailings. I already have a letter. So I'm going to go to select recipients. Let me go find that file called training real quick. So give me just one second. Hold tight. There it is. I'm pulling it up right now. There's only one worksheet. I'm going to hit OK. I always like to go and check my recipient list just to make sure it looks right. Not required, but I recommend you do it. There's campus location right there. I'm going to put in today's date in the letter. Today's the 30th, 2018. I'm going to put in their address with an address block. Keeping this really simple and fast I get to the good stuff. I'm going to put in the class that they're going to take class and the key is the location right here so I typed in the word location but the field is actually called campus location back in Excel and then from here I'm not gonna do any format or anything fancy I'm gonna hit preview results so I put myself in there once again I don't care about the paragraph formatting but notice I'm in Atlanta the next person is in Smyrna and I've got some Lawrenceville in here and some other cities, so that's working. So here we go. I'm going to press enter once at least. So I want a paragraph right here to say that parking is $4 in Atlanta. So I'm going to come up here to rules. Third one down is if, then, else. Click it one time. And I know you don't like watching me type. But one thing I do know how to do is copy paste. So let me say this is going to be campus location. If it's equal to what city? Atlanta. You make sure you type it in there correctly. And then I'm just going to paste in a paragraph that I've already typed. I just made that up. So if the location is Atlanta, put in this paragraph that has two sentences. Three sentences, doesn't matter. If it's not... I'm just making this up. Free parking. That works. Click OK. So I should get that really long paragraph, and I do. I'm going to move to the next letter. Watch what happens. Free parking because the city or the location. So we're in business. So that is it. I'm not going to do the finish and merge, but you would. But we went to rules, and we wrote an if-then-else statement. Thank you. Have a great week.